Okay, so for this question, right, you are looking at uh, Li Ting, who has uh, three pieces of rope measuring 140, 268, and 210. Now, you want to cut these three pieces of rope equally into uh, smaller pieces without any uh, leftover rope. So what we are doing here is, you, can, you see, if I have three ropes, one is uh, 140, the other one is 168, and the other one is 210, and you want to cut them so-called into pieces equally without any uh, leftover rope. What does it mean is equally means, for example, if here I cut uh, a certain number of cm, here I must also cut the same. They must be equal. And they must be equal. Okay, so this must be equal. And this must be equal. So for example, uh, down the road, maybe you cut, uh, they must be equal. They must be equal. So uh, again, you want to cut them and, and you do not want any leftover. So there cannot be any leftover. What does this mean is number one, you can see that the dimension, right, the dimension of this, right, okay, in a way, uh, 140 must be divisible, correct? So it's like, for example, you see, uh, let's say if I have uh, 10 cm, uh, I cut into 2 cm, 2 cm, 2 cm, 2 cm, you can see uh, if it's 2 cm, 10 is divisible by 2, and then I will have no leftover. So that's the same. The dimension of this uh, rope that you are cutting, okay, first of all, it must be a factor of 140, of 168 of 210 that could be because if it's not a factor there will be leftover rope and the question says that we do not want leftover rope all right so take a look at uh, this portion right if you look at 140 168 and 210 okay there is no leftover rope so it means that this guy here the dimension of this rope it must be a factor of 140 168 and 210 and it also says that this is the greatest possible length. This is the greatest possible length. What does it mean? Greatest also can lead you to think of the word highest, correct? So not only is it the highest length possible, this length is also a common factor. Right? Because it's you know 140, 160, 168, and 210 is divisible by your length. Right? So what we are looking for is this length, right? Basically, this length is none other than the HCF. Of 140, 168, and 210. Okay, so far. Can I? So I hope you are able to, to understand uh, what we are doing. Huh? Can I? So, all in all, this is nothing but the HCF question. Okay, so if we go ahead and we find the HCF, you know, we do the letter matter, we divide by 2, 70, 84. This part is going to leave it to you. Huh? Okay, I divide by 7. I have 10, 12. 15 you can see that uh, well the HCF is just equal to 14 right it's just equal to 14 so it means that the greatest possible length here for each of the smaller pieces of rope is 14 cm right so I'm cutting uh, 140 into pieces of 14 cm 168 into pieces of 14 cm 210 into pieces of 14 cm okay so how many smaller pieces of rope can I cut together so you just think about it I mean if if your rope, the first rope 140, you're going to cut it into pieces of with each length 14 cm. The number of ropes you get is 140 divided by 14. The second rope 168, you cut into 14. Again, that's the number of rope 210, you cut into ropes of 14 cm. That's the number of uh, ropes that you'll get. Okay, so all in all, if you calculate this, you're going to get 37. There'll be 37 pieces of uh, rope with uh, each of length 14 cm. Okay. Uh, that's all. Thank you.